Kakashi has been denied bail for now and will remain in custody pending trial. His attorney, Lance Lozaro, proposed Takashi be released if he pays court 750000 surrender his passport, and remain on house arrest, suggesting that he wouldn't be a flight risk under those terms. Lozaro's request was shot down, but he plans to file an appeal with the judge during a bail hearing Tuesday. Takashi appeared calm in court, even though his hands and feet were shackled. His family, including his mother, was present in the arraignment. According to the 17-page indictment obtained by TMZ, Takashi is facing six counts, the most serious of which is discharging a firearm while committing a crime. That count carries a possible life sentence and a mandatory minimum of 25 years in prison. His ex-manager, Shadi, is facing the same six counts. Prosecutors say the acts of violence were intended to protect the gang's drug biz, retaliate, Retaliate against rival gangs and promote non-trace life on the streets. Takashi and his crew conspired to commit a slew of crimes, including drug deals, armed robberies, and shooters, according to the federal indictment. The feds believe Takashi himself pulled an armed robbery on April 3rd, along with his ex-manager, Shadi, and two other members of the non-trace bloods. According to docs, they robbed gang rivals at gunpoint. The indictment also mentions the April 21st shooting incident at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn and fingers Ruquan Lowick as the trigger man. The indictment, first reported by the New York Daily News, lists 17 counts dating back to 2013. The feds also say Takashi and associates were hawking heroin, fentanyl, MDMA, and marijuana all over NYC. Takashi recently fired his manager, and two other former associates are in federal custody after being busted on racketeering charges, which which almost certainly means the rap is going to prison, TMZ has learned. Law enforcement sources tell us 6 9 was arrested Sunday night by ATF agents in NYC, and the agents also hauled his ex-manager, Shadi, at the same time. If you recall, Takashi has just fired Shadi and much of his management team last week. One of the other suspects arrested is Fahim Walter, a.k.a. Crippy, who got shot a few weeks ago during the altercation with Takashi's record label head. All four men are facing racketeering and firearms charges. We're told the investigation was a joint effort by ATF, NYPD, and Homeland Security. It's interesting, Takashi was on The Breakfast Club just last week and admitted he only feared two things, God and the FBI. Takashi was already skating on thin ice. As we reported, the judge who gave him probation in his child sex case had warned him to keep his nose clean or he'd be going straight to prison. So there it is, man. Like, he's facing life behind bars. I mean, I really don't think he's going to get that. I mean, I think he's going to deal his way out of this situation. I mean, that's just the way the mentality is with... Kids nowadays, they can commit the crime, but they can't do no time. They they just ain't built for it anymore. And <clears throat> I mean, I think that I think they know it. I mean, they just like it's just like a softer breed of man being born nowadays. <laughs> like I know, like after my grandfather was born, and like shit just started going downhill. Like <laughs> and. This is what goes on every day. I mean, people are telling in every state of the country. <laughs> and at the same time, we don't know how true these allegations are. We don't know what these men really did. You know, they're innocent until proven guilty, even though a lot of times, you know, we're guilty until proven innocent. But, um, you know, he just, he has a lot of things going for him, and I, pray for the best for him and his family uh hopefully he can stand tall because if you did the shit you know whatever you did you gotta stand tall for for that shit and don't bring nobody down with you because that's just gonna make you a sucker and you'll never come back and have a rap career after all that so you know i just hope that uh you know he's a young man i just hope everything works out for him and the people around him because, you know, jail ain't a place that I want to see anybody at, especially 
a young Hispanic with uh, so much talent. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.